Putin's Putin's trip to Kyrgyzstan has two purposes. Firstly, the country has become one of the main hubs for smuggling sanctioned goods to Russia. In 2022, trade turnover between the countries increased 1.5 times, and this year the U.S. imposed sanctions against four Kyrgyz companies that helped circumvent international restrictions on Russia. Putin's second goal is a meeting of CIS leaders. Thus, in one trip, Putin will also hold talks with the leaders of Azerbaijan and Tajikistan. Armenia refused to participate in the meeting. According to experts, this indicates a serious weakening of the Kremlin's position. It has become obvious that Russia can no longer protect anyone, that Russia is no longer influencing what is happening in Central Asia, in the South Caucasus or in the Middle East. And this realization makes partners turn away from Russia and ignore it as a state which could provide help, assistance, aid or protection. In September, Putin held two high-level meetings with the leaders of North Korea and South Sudan. Both countries are dictatorship with catastrophically low living standards. Also, official Taliban delegations have visited Moscow several times since the beginning of the full-scale invasion. And as recently as two years ago, Putin was holding talks with the leaders of France and Germany on equal footing. Russia's criminal war against Ukraine and cooperation with other aggressors has destroyed its reputation. Macron's attitude towards Putin was articulated by Macron when he said at a Munich interview that Russia is now a middle power and cannot be among the permanent members of the UN Security Council. This, in general, mirrors how Russia's role has fallen since the start of full-scale aggression against Ukraine. After the International Criminal Court issued an arrest warrant for Vladimir Putin for organizing the mass deportation of children from the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine, the Kremlin dictator has not traveled outside Russia. At all scheduled international events, such as the BRICS summit, he spoke online. Putin even refused to visit Turkey, which maintains partnership relations with Moscow and has not ratified the Rome Statute, meaning that it is not subject to the decisions of The Hague. This way, Ukraine is achieving one one of its goals, the international isolation of the Kremlin regime. It is clear that he has allies. It is the axis of evil. Iran, North Korea, Belarus. Well, Belarus is just occupied by Russia. Syria, he has them. Another part of the axis of evil is Hamas. And I have no doubt about that. There are countries that are more or less supportive. They've joined the Roman statute. But in general, for Putin, a large part of the world is already lost. The Council of Europe says Russia is a dictatorship and Putin is a dictator. That narrows his ability is even more. Our task is to drive him beyond these red flags. Putin is expected to visit Beijing on October the 17th to attend China's Belt and Road Initiative. Apart from him, the visit was confirmed by Serbian President Alexander Vucic. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Danilo Kobza, TV News.